Hello, today we're taking a look at Switch Audio. This is a file converter software for both PC and Mac. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mac version. This allows you to convert audio files so you can, it's a universal audio converter essentially supporting a lot of popular formats so you can convert one file to another to make it compatible with specific media players or whatever you may need. You can also do things like batch conversion, uh, compressed sound files, which allows you to make the file size smaller, converting files like MP3s, WAVs, WMAs, uh, M4As, AUG, MID, FLAC files, all those great sort of things. And again, make it easy for you to, you know, do this for whether it's just song conversion, uh, allowing you to compress file size or make it playable on a specific device. Now, keep in mind there is system requirements here. You can see for Mac OS 10 and Windows XP all the way up to Windows 8. So keep that in mind. You can read all about it here on their website as well. See all the supported audio file formats right here on their site as well. So you can easily view their listing right there. Now that said, we can go ahead and download it and try out the software here. And you can see here I have it. This is Switch, really clean interface. You basically have the middle of your library. You can import a file here. For example, I imported this M4A file that I have from my iTunes library. You can easily add files via a, a, a plethora of methods, really. You have the ability to add just single audio files. You can add video files that you want to grab audio from, CDs, DVDs, and or specific folders. Again, you can do it with multiple files, not just one at a time. You can actually do batch conversion, which is really, really helpful. You have the ability to remove files. You can play a file, of course. And then, of course, the main thing, convert it. Now, you have some preferences here, which you can set depending on how you want to do things, how if you want it to overwrite specific files, how you want it to do specific things with conversions, how it handles CD track naming, those sort of things, and other settings like playback devices and all those uh, great little things that you can adjust within the application itself. Now at the bottom here, you get to choose a destination folder so you can have it where you want it to save the converted file and then choose an output format. So if it's an M4A right now, if I want it to be an MP3, if I want it to be a WAV or whatever it may be, I can easily convert it to those. Or if you even want to convert to a higher quality format like FLAC, you can even do that as well. And then you can set the encoder options for this specific format. So for MP3, I can make it a higher quality, which takes a little bit more time, but again, it's higher quality conversion. It's all up to you and how you want to do it. Of course, you have other buttons here to adjust your Apple folder and then the same convert button in the bottom right, and it's that simple. So if I want to convert this, I would just simply hit convert and it's off to the races. And then obviously you would have to wait because you would see here it takes a little bit of time to convert. And if you want to cancel it, you can just hit cancel and you're good to go. Again, obviously, if you really want to convert it, you would select the destination. Keeping in mind that you can do this with 20 files, 15 files, a whole album if you really wanted to. It's all up to you and what you want to convert. And it's that simple with the switch. It's literally a click of the button uh, and you're off to the races. So that said, you can click on the link down below to get a free trial or and or of course buy it. You can download it here at their site for the Mac to try it out. And then you can go over and hit the purchase button at the top to check it out for purchasing it. And you can see other bundles that they include all that good stuff. So with that, this is switch the sound file converter. Thanks for watching.